Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. We all invest for one reason and one reason only, to make our money grow like a plant, but of course faster, right? There are a million ways to spend money. Maybe you can throw a party, pay off your student loan, or keeping up with your mortgages. But when it comes to investing, there's really just one goal, to make more money and faster. So let's be smart and invest in something that can grow bigger and faster. So in today's video, what I want to do is I want to talk about Yield Max ETF YMAG. And I'll tell you why I'm choosing that one. So if you look at the new distribution schedule, you go to Yield Max ETF, look at the distribution schedule. One thing you will notice is that there's a payment every week, right? 20, 27, 4, 11, if you look at the calendar, right? So you're getting paid every, every Friday. Every Friday, you're getting paid out according to new schedule. But one thing that's common over here is, so why max and why MAG? Why max and why MAG will have a weekly distribution every week, every Wednesday, distribution amount will be announced every Thursday it will trade without the benefit of dividend and Friday you get payment so by looking at it in itself it actually feels so exciting that wow every Friday you're going to get payment on every Wednesday it's going to get announced for Y Max and Y MAG now the question is is it really something that you want to put your money in or is it going to grow faster and bigger the way you want it? Because we want to make sure every penny that we have, we make the most of it. So here's what I'm going to do in this video. Let's take a look at it. Why MAG is, why is for yield max and MAG is for magnificent seven. So the seven MAG stocks, Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Nvidia, and Microsoft is a part of that, right? That is a part of this YMAG. Now, what I want to do is, since if you look at this schedule, right, it's getting paid every week. Now, I want to know is that is it really profitable or is it worthwhile to do the weekly trading? So, what I want to do in this video is test a couple of strategies and see which strategy pay the most. The first one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy it and hold it right now all this yield max etf pay distribution so in this case on a strategy one number one i will buy it and hold it and whatever the distribution i get either the weekly basis i will just cash it out and use it for something which i like to enjoy right maybe i'll just go party i will just go have fun take my friends out for lunch and dinner whatever and the second strategy what i'm going to be testing it the distribution that I will be getting on a weekly basis, instead of cashing it out, I will reinvest it. There's a program called DRIP, Dividend Reinvestment Plan. So I will, whatever dividend I'll get paid on a weekly basis, I will reinvest it and buy more of the share. And the third one that I will be focusing a lot on this one is the weekly flip. I'll say, okay, is it worthwhile to just buy it every week just for the sake of distribution? Just buy a day before distribution, sell it on a payment date, and should I be making money by doing just you know just flipping it around or hopping it from one week to another? And the fourth one we'll do is the best case scenario. What that means is I'll take the best case. I'll say okay, I'll assume that I am the smartest person on the planet Earth and I have the ability to pick the lowest price. Well, actually I'm not. If I were I wouldn't be doing that video. I should be sitting on a beach somewhere having fun, right? But just for the case of calculation, we want to test the best case scenario. We want to buy it at the lowest of the week and see what is the maximum distribution we can get on a weekly basis. That is the four strategy that we will be testing it. Now, before I go into the detail of the video one request please subscribe share like 
as you can see from the video, there's a lot of effort goes into making this video, right? I have to do a lot of research, calculation. So, you know, your support is needed. Please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and like, like it. I'm on a mission to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month. And I'm almost halfway down there. So, so please support me to reach my goal. One more thing. I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician. What I'm doing through my video is back testing those some of the strategy, uh, testing those strategy and see which one of these makes sense, which one of these can get the most of the money that I have, and that is all the video is about. Right? All right, so let's get it started. Actually, so okay, in this video, I'll be talking about why magnet, which is yield max ETF for the Magnificent Seven. So there's the five strategy that I will be testing on this one is number one is the buy and hold as I say and I will cash out whatever the distribution is and the second one will be the reinvestment now the focus of this video will be on the weekly flip since the on the new distribution is scheduled the payment will be made every week every Friday I want to see if it's profitable to do that so there's three things I will be doing it on the weekly one day. Right? Number one, buy it before a distribution date and sell it on the day the payment is made, right? In, in that way, like what I will do is I'll just buy it. Okay, well, let's suppose I'll just buy it. Like if the date is 10-9, I will buy day before that, 10-8, and the payment is on 10-11, so I'll sell it on the same day. So I'll buy it a day before distribution and sell it on the payment date. The second strategy that I plan to, to test is buy it before X or on the X dividend date and sell it before the next X dividend date. Now, what's going to happen on this is that if I buy it on the X dividend date, that is the date it trades without the benefit of distribution. By doing so, I'm not going to get paid any distribution. But most of my listeners actually made a comment in there that they use this strategy. So I want to test it and see, is this really profitable? Is this something that make the money? And the last one is the best case scenario. I'll buy it for the low of the week before the ex dividend date and sell it on the payment date. So all these five strategy, we'll be testing it and see which one of these make the most. So let's spend some time on the first two of those. These are very simple one. I'm not going to go spend too much time on this. I, I will do it very, very slowly. So let's start with the first one, right? Now, if you go over, I like to use the Yahoo for this because I can use the historical data and take a look at it, all the details. If you look over here, the first trading day of YMAG was January 30, right? 1 30, 2024 was the first trading day and the price was $19.89, right? So you look over here, the first date was January 30 and the price was 1989. Now, what does that mean? If I'm investing $5,000 and the price is 1989, that means I can buy 251 share of YMAC. Now, I do know we don't trade in fraction, but for the sake of simplicity, I will leave it as it is. Now, I'm assuming that I bought it on January 30. And I just have it in my portfolio as of today. And every month, if you look at it, there was a monthly distribution that was getting paid before. Now that has been changed to weekly. So I, I transfer that over here. So I look at this. So every month I'm getting distribution. So, so if I look at, I add all these distribution, right? February, March, April, May, June, all of this. I add all of this. It comes up to $4.99, right? So I, I made four ninety nine on the dividend, and if I look at today price, right over here, if you go over here, you can see on that the price is eighteen eighty, right? Eighteen eighty. Now, since I own, I bought two hundred fifty one share by investing five thousand dollars the beginning of the of the January thirtieth, right? So two hundred fifty one thirty one eight I still have in my portfolio. 
today price is 1880 what does that mean the value of the stock is the share price multiplied by this $4,700. Now, I'm, I earned $5 on dividend on every single one of them. So, what that means is $5 single, every single one of them, I have $251. So, I earned $1,253. So, if you add both of these, the total value is $5,979. It's again of almost $1,000. So, $5,000 invested on January 30 on YMAC is worth almost $6,000, like 20% gains. So that is strategy number one, right? So let's do this, right? So $5,000 invested in YMAC is worth $59.79. And of course, I'm just taking the dividend out, right? So $1,200, whatever I got over here, $1,253, I cash it out and use it on something else. Now let's take track the strategy number two. Strategy number two is dividend reinvestment plan. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I just want to give you a brief overview of how it works. This is how it works, right? So if you look over here, I started with 251.38 share, 251.38 share, right? Now, if you look over here, right, the first payment was made on 220th of 43.06, right? So the first payment was made on 220 for 43 cents. Now, the second payment was made on March 18 and 490. So you have March 18, 318, 490. So these are all the days the payment was made, right? And this is the dividend that was paid on that day. Now, this is how the dividend reinvestment plan works. I started with 251.38 and the payment was made on 220, right? How much the payment was made? 43 cents for each one of them. So that means it's 43 for each one of them. I own 251.38. So I uh, $108.25 was paid as a distribution. Now, if you look at the price on 220, right? Let me go over here on February 20. February 20 was, where was February 20? Yeah, the price was 1980, right? So 1980 was the price. So I have $108.25 received as distribution and the price of each of those in 1980 means. So with this one, I could buy 5.47 more share of YMAC. So since started with 251.38, I, I bought 5.47 more. So this will add up to 256.85. And you do the same for the next month and each month, each month. So I started with 251.38 on February and keep buying it on month after month. And then as of today, I have 322.9 share of YMAG in my portfolio, right? So now let's take a look at it. What was the price today, right? Price of this today is 18.80. So I own 322.9 share of YMAG at the price of 18.80. If you multiply this with this, the total value is 6,076. Let's go over here. Strategy number two, right? So if you look at that, right? Buy and hold, cashing it out, uh, you get almost 20%. On If you do the dividend investment plan, DRIP, and the gain is a little bit higher, a few hundred dollars extra, actually $200 extra. And, you know, the gain is like 21%. So on, if you look at both of these, is the gain is almost like 20%. Now let's take a look at the weekly flip, right? It's weekly. So let's go to the weekly thing. Now if you can look at this, okay. The weekly distribution is started from the 918, right? So this is the Wednesday 918. Distribution was announced. 919. It traded without the benefit of dividend, 920 payment was made, right? So in this strategy, right, I'm buying a day before distribution and selling it on payment day. So let's take a look at over here. So I'm going to declaration date is 918, so purchase date is 917. Buying a day before that and selling it on distribution date, right? So if you look at that and same over here, right? 925, so I'm buying it 924, 10, 1, 10, 8, right? Just buying a day before distribution, selling it on the day payment is made. Okay. Now, if you look at that, right, 
the dividend paid on 920 was 20 cents, 17 cents, 1628, right? 20, 17, 1628. Now let's take a look at the price for on 917, right? And 920, right? 917, 917 here, where is the 917? The price was 1910. 917 price was 1910, right? And 920 the price was. 1924, right? 1924. Now take a look over here, right? So what's the gain of loss, right? You're selling at 1924 plus you get 20 cent dividend, but you paid this 1910 for this, right? So the gain of each share of YMAG is 34 cents. And since you have 261.78, right? So I'll tell you how I got it, right? I've invested $5,000. And the purchase price was 1910, so I got 26170, right? Now I have 261.78 share of YMAC. Each one of them gave me a gain of 34 cents. So the total gain is $88, right? Now, so the first week I made some money, $88. Second week, uh, it's only $10. Third week, $19. And the last week, $10.8. I lost money. Let's take a look at it. Okay, look over here. The declaration date is 10 9. So I'm going to buy it a day before that, 10 right? Payment is 10 11. So I will sell it 10 11. So take a look at it. Now, the dividend paid was 28 cents here, right? Now, let's take a look at the purchase price of on 8 and sell price on 11. 8 and 11. 10 8, 1920, 18 right? 1920, 1880. So we bought it in 1920, right? And now we sell it at 1880 plus you add that 20 cent dividend that was got. It's like uh, $19.08. So you're losing 12 cents. And 260 shares you have it. So again, actually the loss of $30. So doing the weekly flip is not profitable. Even though they are advertising it as something that's you know is very profitable it's going to make you money but looking at the calculation you're losing money me personally i will not do the weekly flip on this one let's look at another scenario the other one that some some of people commented that what they do is they actually buy on the ex dividend date like they buy on this date and sell it before this day right because on this day, the stock trade without the benefits of dividends. So that's what they do. Right? No, but what's going to happen if you do it like that, you're not going to get any distribution paid. So zero, zero, zero. So let's take a look at it. We bought it on this date, right? 9, 19, 26, 3, 19, 26, 3, 4. And then sell it on the day of this, right? So buy it on this, sell it on this, buy on this, sell on this, buy on this, sell on this. So you can go to Yahoo over here and take a look at all the prices over here. I plug it in over here and you look at it. Some months you make money, some you lose money. Overall, if you really average it out for three weeks, you only make $63. I'm not sure if you want to spend $5,000 and you spend so much time flipping it week after week and just to make $63. Now, the last one is this is for something that's, that's not reality. I don't think there's anyone who has the ability to pick the bottom and sell at the top. If that person can do that, he's a genius. He should not be watching my video. He should be at the beach having fun and enjoying it. But I am just doing it to demonstrate the best case scenario that in an ideal condition, what is the maximum that you could have gained through the right? So what I did is I put, okay, this is there, right? What I want to do is um, let's take a look at this week. On this one, I look at this week, right? I look over here this week. I, I, I look at all the, this is the price, right? This is the low, right? So for that particular week, I look at the low of each week and pick up the lowest price and sell. So I'm picking the lowest price for the buy and selling at the higher, right? Best case scenario. If you look at that, the lowest was on 916, 1887. And I sell on the payment date in 1924, right? This was pretty profitable, 3%, 1%, 1%. So the average is like 2%. So the maximum, if you 
flipping around YMAC on a weekly basis, the maximum average you can get is like 2%. That is the maximum. It, other than that, you look at all this, this is just not profitable at all. So look over here, right? So I don't even have anything to put over here because the numbers are so little, right? I mean, you look over here, what is that? I mean, for the three week average is what? 8742, 87.42, that's little. And, and then the other one, what is that? I mean, that one, 6351. And then the last one, what, what is the best case scenario is what? 38888. Yes, this is the love making $388 on uh, actually uh, on the four week on the best case scenario or that on a month. Uh, I don't think you can do that, but anyhow, but looking at this, the number tells me that buy and hold is the best strategy for buy back. This is what the, the numbers are telling me. So I'm not recommending anything. There's no recommendation. Uh, I just do the mathematical analysis so you can make your own decision. This is the, the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I hope to see you soon with some another video. Thank you. Have a good day.